NFL Week 9, a.k.a. Any Given Sunday, a.k.a. NFL Lex Anderson Sunday. The Steelers climbing back to respectability, standing at 500. The Dolphins getting their first win against the Jets. And Lamar Jackson and the Ravens ending the Patriots' winning streak. As you've entered the Sports Opinion Log here in Lex Anderson World. So if you're down with all things NFL, AFC, NFC, do the right thing and subscribe to the channel and press the bell icon to stay notified for any and all upcoming future videos. Now on to this video. It is a new week. It is a new month. So to celebrate, we got a new cut. Happy birthday to Diddy to celebrate his birthday with the Syrah. Special shout out to my girl, Weta W. Thank you very much for this Dallas Cowboy shot glass. This is a shot glass that was gifted to me straight from Texas, straight from the Dallas Cowboy Stadium. So a toast to the new week, NFL week nine. Happy birthday, Diddy. Let's get it. So we're keeping it low. We're keeping it fresh here on the Sports Opinion Live. We're going classy and contemporary. And we're going to start it off with, of course, the upset game of the week for the 1 o'clock games is decreed by the Prophet that the Steelers would beat the Colts. The final score, 26-24. As old, unreliable, useless, and needs to be cut, Adam Vinatieri missed a 43-yard field goal with a minute and 16 seconds left. Jacoby Brissett suffered a knee injury in the second quarter, did not return. Minka Fitzpatrick working his, yeah, you already know it, Fitzmagic with a 96-yard pick six taken back to the house as, again, the Steelers outlast the Colts 26-24 final score. And the 4-4 four four tight ends at the Panthers 4-3, and three. the Panthers final score 30-20 over the tight ends. McCaffrey is in the talks for MVP. Why not, folks? 166 yards from scrimmage, three touchdowns. And he leads the NFL with 1,244 yards from scrimmage to go with 13 touchdowns. The 5-3 and three Houston Texans overseas at Jacksonville, London, Wembley Stadium. Jacksonville 4-4, four and four, make it 4-5. Four and five. Final score, Texans 26, Jaguars 3. And let me, the prophet, Bring the shovel and the dirt to bury Minshew Mania. He threw two interceptions. It's already talks that they can't wait to bring back Nick Foles. So Minshew Mania, ballyhooed over hype. So long, farewell. Redskins one and seven at the Bills five and two. Final score on that: Buffalo Bills twenty four, Redskins nine. Dwayne Haskins made his first career start. And was 15 of 22 for 144 yards. Final score 26-23 as Harrison Butker made a 54-yard field goal to tie the game. And then hits a 44-yarder as time expires. Matt Moore 275 yards with one touchdown. That one touchdown, of course, to Tyreek Hill. Six catches, 140 yards. Damian Williams 125 yards. Upset game of the week, of course, the 1-6 Jets over the previous winless Dolphins, who got their first victory. Final score, 26-18. Like I had told y'all, Ryan Fitzpatrick, Fitzmagic, he worked it. He's good for two to three touchdowns a game. Also, equal in the amount of interceptions he could possibly throw. But no, he held it down. Three touchdowns, two to their rookie, Preston Williams, who unfortunately suffered a season-ending knee injury, torn ACL. He's done for. Final score, Miami 26, Jets 18. And it just can't get no lower than that. But actually, it can. Because the Lions, the Bears, 3-4, and four, at the Eagles, 4-4. Four and four. Final score, Eagles 22, Bears 14, wins 239 yards, one touchdown. Trubisky, another putrid Game to forget, 10 of 21 for 125 yards. Bears fans, I got the dirt and the shovel. There's the open grave. I'm filling it in with the Bear fans who thought or believed that their team could have been a playoff contender, which they're not. Super Bowl contender, get the fuck out of here like they need to do with Trubisky. Get him the fuck out of here. Sunday 4 o'clock games, the 3-3-1 three and three and one Lions at the Raiders 3-4. and four. The Raiders held me down. Final score, 31-24. Derek Carr, 289 yards with two touchdowns. 
And my favorite punching bag, Matthew Stafford, 26 of 41, 406 yards, three touchdowns, one INT. And I'm only mentioning it because it was a loss. Fuck Matthew Stafford. I hate the Lions. The 2-5 and five Buccaneers at the Seahawks, 6-2. and two. I was going with Seattle. They held me down. Final score, dang Russell Wilson, dangerous Russell Wilson, whatever you want to call it. The guy's a proven winner. Shout out Galt's conditioning. Five touchdowns on the day as the Seahawks complete the comeback 40-34 in overtime. Throws a 10-yard touchdown pass to Jacob Hollister on the opening touchdown drive. Folks, Russell Wilson is looking goddamn fucking dangerous. He is clearly in the running to be declared MVP of the season. 29 for 43, 378 yards, five touchdowns in overtime, five of eight for 70 yards, and of course the touchdown to Jacob Hollister who had two touchdowns. But how about this, folks? Tyler Lockett, 13 catches, 152 yards, two touchdowns. DK Metcalf, six catches, 123 yards, one touchdown. And if you check out my most recent video, they also acquired Josh Gordon. That I am going to put the stamp of approval for the Seahawks to be a Super Bowl contender as of this video, baby. Yes, you heard it goddamn right. Seahawks Super Bowl contender. Sunday, 425 games. <sighs> the 2-5 and five Browns at the Broncos 2-6. and six. Final score, Broncos 24, Browns 19, as Brandon Allen making his first career start, those two touchdowns, and that's it. Get my shovel, get the dirt, open grave, Browns, it's over. Fuck y'all, a bunch of pretenders, Baker, Chubb, Laundry, Odell. It's like fucking horrible. It's like disappointing beyond words. The Browns were so much better. They were so much better beloved and revered by their loser fan base when they went winless on the season. But to have all these big names and get the same disgusting Browns mentality. 7-1 Packers at the 3-5 and five Chargers. You would think discount double dud could hold me down. Final score, Chargers 26, Packers 11. Melvin Gordon finally came to play for an NFL game. Two touchdowns, Rivers 294 yards. Mike Williams, three catches for 111 yards, making it the first 100-plus yard game that he's had in the last three years. Discount double dud Aaron Rodgers, 23 of 35, 161 yards, and one meaningless touchdown. Horrible. Sunday night football, Ida Prophet had to creed it. Lamar Jackson, he can run, he can throw. The Ravens defense is no joke. And it led to them ending the Patriots' winning streak. Final score, 37, Baltimore, New England, 20. Not even the referees could save New England in this one. So they had to eat this loss. Tip of the cap to Lamar Jackson for doing what he does best. Three touchdowns, two rushing, one passing, 183, 163 yards in the air, 61 yards on the ground. And the sloppy performance by New England, seven penalties for 48 yards, sports opinion luck. And, of course, we have the Monday night game going on. Let's check the score on that real quick. Ida Prophet had decreed that the G-men would lose. Sorry. Fuck out of here. The G-men would lose to the Cowboys. Currently, it's 23-18 with 11 minutes and 20 seconds left in the fourth quarter. A black cat ran on the field which I'm sure has been all the rage on Twitter. You can follow me on Twitter by going to my bio. The link is right there. Sports Opinion Log. Hashtag SOL is where you can find me. Fuck the Giants. Fuck Daniel Jones. Fuck Duke. I came and said what the fuck I had to say. I did what the fuck I wanted to do. Now I'm going to finish off the rest of this game. Lex Anderson signing out. Go Steelers.